down two against a team and is able to go into an even more fortified shell. Clever ball on the ground, back heel in front, saved off the line, that one's not gonna be stopped. Jelani Peters, have a night. His second and Pittsburgh goes up three. Having fun, absolutely. The run to the near post, the back heel, that's planned for sure. The crack off wheat bounces back out. That's a center back. That is the best impression of Virgil van Dyke that you will see from Jelani Peters tonight. Mogul. Header back across. Header in front. Wait, tried to get a piece. Still alive. Toward Winder, punched away by Wait. Out to Masoso. Multiple times in this sequence. Watch him up to the upper right corner, even though. You've got Ordonez there, right there, goalkeeper to back him up. Second one off the line to get back and reset. Very impressive. The problem you run into here, all due respect to Manny Perez, he's a right-sided player. He does not possess a very strong left foot. Help them breathe a bit easier. The rest of this second half, Forbes delivers. Peters finishes. There's the insurance. been an adventure of a four minutes for Jelani Peters, and it's punctuated by a goal. Time and counting, regular season assists. The ball whipped it, almost unmarked. Just throws Bolu Akinyoti off with his left arm. Akinyoti knows it, hands to the head, can't believe it. Well, Brian James gives it up. Sims, Mertz. Dangerous ball, Kizza scores! An instant impact for Edward Kizza. Almost immediately off the bench, he ties this quarter final at one. Scores, the biggest goal of the year for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Behind Jake Roof and in front of Alex Cronali, he finds that gap. And a great snap header down and into the far side netting. So 1-1 one, one our score. Lapa went down, referee allows play to continue and got in the way of Aravo. Aravo down behind the play, Pittsburgh attacking. Yang across the face of goal, it's in! It's Kizza again for the second time tonight. Edward Kizza levels the match. I do think the referee's feeling it as well. He's going to take a minute or two here just to collect himself because he got hit in the head. A huge break for Pittsburgh as Kizza started the attack. The defensive midfielder for Birmingham was down. And Kizza, who started the attack, eventually Mike finishes it as well. Kizza has been Mr. Instant Impact. Nearly his first touch in the game scored. And now the second time the ball got served into him, he's put that in the back of the net as well. And here they come again, Cicerone leaves it back, a shot, and a save, I think it hit the post. Moving forward, this all starts with Kelly Rosales. So close. Cicerone brings the ball in, left footed shot. Here is Solinac. A chance for his sixth of the season, Silva makes the save! Rebound and it's out of play! Silva made the mess, he cleaned it up. It's still 1-0 Pittsburgh in the 90th minute. The crowd loves it. And Silva facing Lucha Sodignac, an experienced player. Takes the shot, the save. And it's saved. Vosvik. Saves the penalty. 
Memphis back at it quickly here. Feet of Dixon. Lovely skill. Oh, what a ball that is to Alex Dixon. Kelly is up with him. Dixon will find Argudo instead, and Argudo hits the bar. Or I should say the post. Get Argudo couldn't hit the target. But look at this run from Kelly. It just draws the back line of Atlanta United too. Controlling a bit of possession as Dixon lays it off. Here's Kelly, pushes it outside the 18. Oh, what a strike! Canardo <laughs> forms. My goodness! A rocket to the back of the net, and it's Pittsburgh Riverhounds SC2. Hartford won on a strike off the boot of Canardo Forbes. Have a look here on the edge of the box. Dane Kelly just weighs the ball into him, but when the ball comes, he doesn't just pick his spot. He absolutely hammers this ball, gets right behind it, full on volley, right in the top corner. There is no keeper, never mind the USL, probably anywhere in the world that's going to save that. That is a brilliant strike from King Kenny.